Hi, hope this doesn't turn into one of those interminable screen shows that we used to have to sit through with our friends and family of their trips and holidays, but hopefully you may find it interesting. Here goes. Neil and I were back in the UK early July to celebrate my birthday with friends and family. Had to add in a photo of this card that my friend Maria gave me because it was so reminiscent of us when we were children. This is the nearest I could find to the clothes we used to wear. For a week in the Midlands we flew from Birmingham to Newquay. This is going over Weymouth on the Dorset coastline and clearly showing Portland. This is me stood on Pendennis Point in Falmouth, Cornwall. We had travelled to the UK to seal the deal on a fifth wheel caravan and Nissan Navara pickup. By coincidence, this was sighted on the same park home where Neil's dad lives. It's a Celtic Rambler fifth wheel caravan built in the UK, suitable for UK roads. Until the boat sails, it won't be our permanent home. We're planning to leave it on its site near Neil's dad until at least early next year. So this is our new home and truck. So, going in, up we come and we have this side is the bit that extends out to increase the width of the van. Storage. Moving round towards the kitchen area. Yes, I know I need to wash up. A fridge freezer. So this is a little sofa next to the door. And we come up a couple of steps into the bedroom. My new duvet. That, reflecting me in the mirror, is storage at the back. And we have a little shower room. Sink is being mended. Little shower. And there we have drinking your tea. Our new home. So, our home becoming a bigger home. Extra space. After a week in Cornwall, we set off on our road trip back to Cartagena. We crossed the Tamar Bridge from Cornwall into Devon and had some time at the Barbican in Plymouth before we caught our ferry. These are the Mayflower Steps where the Pilgrim Fathers are said to have left the UK to cross the North Atlantic to settle in North America in 1620. We were booked on an overnight Brittany ferry from Plymouth to Roscoff in northern France. A surprise to see a town twinned with Lothwithiel in Cornwall after just leaving Cornwall. First overnight stop was at La Rochelle. There was the most amazing double-decker carousel in a park in La Rochelle. It was stunningly beautiful. Attention to detail was really excellent. It was dated 1900. The next day we headed south for Saint-Jean-Pierre-de-Port and we passed beautiful scenery, fields and fields of sunflowers and then traffic. It felt as though the whole of France was moving south that Saturday afternoon. Not too far south we were off the auto route and the traffic cleared. Our second stop in France was in this centuries old Basque farmhouse. 
we were told that the bottle shaped formed by the door and the window above showed travellers that bed and board were available here. Jean Pierre de Port is the old capital of the traditional Basque province of Lower Navarre. It is also a popular starting point for those wishing to travel the Camino Way to Santiago de Compostela in Spain. The mist cleared and we headed across the border into Spain and then up through the Pyrenees. This was the highest point of our climb across the Pyrenees at 1,057 metres above sea level. This girl has quite a way to go. Santiago de Compostela, 790 kilometres from there. Neither Neil nor I had travelled through Spain before and the scenery was fantastic. It changed so often. We were on high plains, in rocky mountainous areas, forested areas. Spain is a big country and boy do you feel it when you're travelling by road. After a night in a log cabin near Cuenca, we were nearly home, well only three and a half hours away from home. We were nearly back to Cartagena, back to the marina, back to Glada. Neil had driven us safely over four days, over 2,050 kilometres. I hope you've enjoyed following along on our little trip and seeing what will be our new home. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks very much.